Hey guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I am back for another video. In this video, I'm going to be ranking and giving my top 12 for Junior Eurovision 2020 before the live show. This is probably going to be my last video before I react to the actual live performances. However, I have now officially listened to all 12 of the entries. So I'm going to be ranking them all in this video and giving you all my top 12. So without further ado, let's get right into ranking. So because I'm going to be starting in my 12th place and then going up from there. I do want to just preface this by saying I know that a lot of the kids watch my videos and stuff and I just want to say that every single one of your entries are truly beautiful, amazing. Sometimes I don't say that. You know, sometimes I hate some entries but genuinely it, it was difficult for me to rank especially the ones that I have in the lower tier because I genuinely don't dislike any of them and so it's hard for me to say this one is my last place because it doesn't mean I don't like it at all. So just keep that in mind. Please know and understand that I love all of these entries but I'm also going to be brutally honest in this video. So in my 12th place is unfortunately Russia with their song My New Day by Sofia Feskova. I think that why I have it so far obviously in my last place is just because I don't feel as though it is a super unique entry and I don't feel like it really stands out. So I often find myself skipping it when it comes on on Spotify because I'm just like let me get to Chasing Sunsets, let me get to Palente, let me get to a song that I can have fun to and that's like really unique and interesting and when this one comes on it just feels like a lot of songs that I've heard before and something about it just doesn't grab my attention so I tend to skip it. In my 11th place is Germany with their song Stronger With You by Susan. I was surprised because I actually had this as my last place but it's grown on me a little bit more because I guess the reason why I put it above Russia is similarly to Russia why it's so low is just I just feel like it's not a very unique song that grabs my attention so I don't find myself you know going oh I really want to listen to the song let me click on it however the reason why I put it above Russia is simply because when it does come on in like shuffle or whatever I don't skip it nearly as much as whenever Russia comes on so that's why I personally put it above because though I do feel it, it's kind of bland and I don't find myself you know actively seeking out to listen to it I do really like her voice I think it's beautiful I think that I'm excited to see it live because there are some big notes in there that I'm interested to see if she can hit them and how all of that goes but yeah I just it, it's not very unique to me and so that's why it's in 11th place all right, so my 10th place is Serbia with their song Heartbeat by Peter Anicic. So I know some of you guys are going to be so surprised that I put Serbia in this place because I think that my reaction to Serbia was absolutely so negative. Like I think it was my most negative reaction from this year. It's grown on me a teensy little bit, like just a small little teeny little bit. It grew on me because I actually find myself listening to it because it's a really nice vibe. It's not just a boring slow song. It actually has some interesting parts about it. It's not a bop but it's got, I don't know, it's just a vibe and I really really like the vibe and there's some memorable aspects to the song like when it's like dally 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 da 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 da. Like there are some memorable aspects to the song that I actually really 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 like so that's why I have Serbia in my 10th place. In my ninth place is gonna shock a lot of you I think because I think this is a lot of people's favorite and it shocks me a little bit because I really really like the song. However, it is France with their song Je Me Gine by Valentina. I know, shocker, shockwave sent around the world. Honestly, it's just because I have songs that I prefer over this one. I feel like this one is, I said it in my reaction, it's the most juvenile out of all of the songs that France has sent so far. And just something about it, it's, it's my least favorite out of all of France's entries. To me, it feels like it's trying to merge Bim Bam Toi and Jamais Sans Toi, but that sounds like it could be a really, really good thing, but I just don't think it's as good as either of those songs and I think that there's a lot of songs this year that I just prefer. Um, this one I like it when it comes on but I really don't you know seek it to listen to it and I just remember last year with Bim Bam Toi it was just like I was obsessed with that song. Like I was showing every single person in my life that song. I was sending it to everybody and saying you have to listen to this because I just was so obsessed with it. This is the type of music that I feel like people when they think of Junior Eurovision this is like some of the music that I think that they would imagine comes from Junior Eurovision and I mean that in a negative way I guess because it's just so juvenile which again like there's nothing wrong with that because she's 
a kid. But it just it's just why I don't find myself listening to it as much, if that makes sense. And that brings me to eighth place, where I have the Netherlands with their song Best Friends by Unity. Similarly to France, I have this here, I think, because it's all, it's just more childish. I like the song, and the reason why it's above France for me is because it's more catchy, it's more fun. Something about it, I just enjoy listening to it more. But again, the subject matter is still very, very childish. When I find myself singing it, it's like, you are my best friend. Just thinking about best friends, like it is very much like a kid kind of song, which is a, it's, it's a good thing because it's there, again, children. It's just why it's not above some of the entries that I'm going to mention next. In my seventh place is Ukraine with their song Vikriva by Oleksandr Balabanov. I have tossed this around back and forth because I really really like this entry and I just want to see it live because it's just hard because I really like it artistically and I like it as an entry but I don't find myself listening to it as much as some of the other entries and so that's why I have it in seventh place um, because I really love it artistically. It's very interesting. It's very different. It's very unique. I really really like that aspect of it. I think that Alexander is unique in his performance and his voice and his style and I really love all aspects of this entry but just that and as well leading into my sixth place is Kazakhstan which I think shocks some people because it is a fan favorite as well. Kazakhstan's entry obviously is called Forever by Karakat Bashanova. The reason why I have this in sixth place is similarly to Ukraine. I really love this artistically. I think the video is beautiful. I'm very excited to see what they do with the live performance. And I think that artistically, this is beautiful. The music that I listen to are bops. And this is not a bop, but I really appreciate this for what it is. And I think that this is an amazing piece of art. And so I could not put it lower, obviously. But also just the fact that I don't listen to this nearly as much as some of the entries above it, I couldn't justify putting this above them. I think that once I see the live performance, if they really deliver something beautiful and artistic, which I think that they will, I may place it above. But just these being my personal rankings, personal taste, personally, what am I listening to and what do I enjoy the most? I just don't listen to it enough to justify putting it above some of these next entries. But I will say it has grown on me because I really, really loved it, but I wasn't listening to it nearly as much or like, I guess, feeling the emotional connection. However, whenever I uploaded my video reacting to it, you guys informed me that the song is actually about the death of her father. So now when I listen to it, now when I listen to the lyrics, I relate a lot to that because I've talked about it, I think before on this channel, but my father did die a couple of years ago. And, and I just think that, you know, not that I had a really close relationship with him, but you know, whenever I hear that and when I hear, you know, especially because she's so young, so I'm sure that was so difficult for her to go through. I lost my dad when I was 18, 19 years old, and so I was a little bit more, you know, mature in the way that I was going to handle my emotions. But I imagine when you are a child and you lose a parent, God, I'm sure that was so, so difficult for her. And it makes me feel the emotion of the song a lot more. In my fifth place is Belarus with their song Aliens by Arina Petereva. Some of these names I haven't memorized yet, y'all. So this was one of the songs that really, really, really grew on me. Something about it, in my reaction, I just didn't connect with it that much, and I'm not really sure why, but the more I listened to it, the more I felt the intensity and the power, and I really felt the vibe that they were going for. And I think, honestly, the reason why I didn't feel that so much in my reaction was partially the video. Because when I listen to this song on my own, when I listen to music in general, I tend to imagine myself in that song if I, you know, because I'm obviously a drag queen. So I imagine myself like lip syncing to it a lot of the time. A lot of the times that's what ends up making me like a song because I can create my own narrative at that point. And so when I listen to the song and when I lip sync to this song around my house, I have my performance of it. And maybe I just didn't necessarily like the way that the video presented the song. It kind of clouded my judgment on the actual song itself because it was just her standing and singing to a microphone. But when I can listen to the song, it's so much darker darker, it's evil, it's mysterious. And I could really, really like, I bring that vibe. I, I bet if I watch this, or if I listen to this song over the music video for I Am The One by Helena Marai, it would get the vibe a little bit more. Crying, 
um, but just something about the video didn't deliver, but it has really grown on me since I've been able to listen to it myself. And I'm very interested to see what they do with the performance, with the live performance. Hopefully they deliver something cool and dark and interesting because I think that this has potential to do really, really well. And in my fourth place, please do not murder me, please, for that not being my winner. But in my fourth place is Spain with their song Palante by Solea. I really, really liked this song and honestly, it grew on me because my initial reaction was pretty negative. It was pretty negative. I think I recall saying I did not like that. Um, I did like it, but it was, it, it wasn't what I expected, but I really do love it. I still agree with what I said. I think that the chorus could be better, which is why I have it in fourth place. It's not my top three because I just think the chorus, I still don't vibe with it. Like I really, really love the verses. I find myself skipping the chorus to get to the verses because I love the verses so much. They're so fierce. They draw me in, they're interesting. And then the, the chorus drops and it's like, dun, dun, tu palante, dun, dun, tu palante. I'm like, okay. But I still, I mean, I love it. It's in my fourth place because it's still fun. It's interesting. It's dancey. And I really do think that this could win. It's just modern. And I think that a lot of people would like this because though I don't really like that kind of music where it like has that kind of drop, I know a lot of other people do. So I'm very interested to see how it does. And now rolling into my top three, we have my third place, which is Poland with their song, I'll Be Standing by Alatra. I really, really, really like this song. I think it's just a solid kind of inspirational pop song. And I just really, really enjoy it. I think the production is really slick. I think that the way that it builds is absolutely perfect. Just every aspect of it is really, really cool. The only thing that's missing for me and why it's not higher is I just think it, it's missing a little bit of a unique factor that even Poland's winning entries from previously had. And it's just something unique, something that really makes it stand out. This is a really solid, well done, pop song and I think that that's just what it why it's lower than my first and my second place because both of those entries have things that are very very unique about them that just makes me a little bit more interested to listen to them than I do with Poland. However, I still really, really like Poland. Like I said, it's a really good, solid pop song. And I just find myself listening to it a lot. And in my second place is Georgia with their song You Are Not Alone by Sandra Gadelia. This song really has potential to move up or move down my rankings because I literally just listened to it like 10 minutes ago. I had just listened to it for the first time. I did re-listen to it twice whenever I was kind of setting my rankings up and deciding that. I really, really love it. It's it's unique, it's inspirational, it's epic. It gives me winner vibes. It's just beautiful, it's outstanding, and the unique factor of it is, is really unique. It really makes it stand out to me in my mind. It's memorable, even though I just listened to it, I already have it in my brain that that is like potential winner vibe. It sticks out already, even though I only listened to it three times in my life. So I think that that's really saying something. I'm really interested to see what they do with the staging because I think that Georgia brings really unique artistic things to their staging and just her haircut alone tells me she's gonna do something cool. And I'm really excited to see her deliver the note, deliver the just the whole song because I just think it's so inspirational, it's so epic. I really, really love it. And in my first place, I'm so excited to say this, is Malta, period. Like. Honestly, no ifs, ands, or buts. Malta has not budged from my first place since I listened to all of the songs. It has grown, it has gotten better, it has aged like fine wine. Truly, Malta is exceptional to me, and I think that they are absolutely underrated. I saw the little Spanish fans saying, vote for Ukraine and Malta because they're the least likely to win. Um, I'm sorry, y'all are sleeping on Malta. It is fun, it is a bop, it is artistic, it's got a great message, it's emotional, and it's got the unique factor. Her voice is amazing. When I listen to that song, nowhere in my brain is like, that's a nine-year-old. Like, no, that is a grown adult singing. The talent, the skill that this little girl has is just out of this world. The song is amazing. There's nothing else I can say. And I can't say it about Georgia yet because I have listened to it only three times, but I can say for a confident fact that Malta is a song that I have been able to repeat, listen to over and over again, literally back to back, listen to the song and not get bored of it. Because like I said, it gets better with each listen. You appreciate different nuances and aspects to the song that you didn't even notice when you first listened to it. To me, that is what makes a great song for me in terms of longevity. And those are my winners, are the ones that I can listen to over and over again. And I don't just not get bored of it, but it gets better with each listen. And that is Malta for me. Malta is so underrated this year. And I just hope, please y'all vote for Malta. Y'all watching, 
appreciate Malta and vote for her because she deserves it. Because she deserves it. So yeah guys, that is it for me ranking all 12 of the entries for Junior Eurovision 2020. These are just my personal rankings, but make sure you let me know in the comments down below what is your top 12? Who are your favorites and who are your least favorite? I'm very interested to see what everybody else is thinking because I feel like me having Malta as my number one is an outlier. Like I think most, I'm assuming, I don't know, from what I've noticed online, Malta is nowhere near a fan favorite, which I think is ridiculous. But yeah guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I do. Also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at MaxiRainbow so you don't miss out on any post polls, live streams, anything like that. As well as if you would like to support my channel, you can subscribe to the Patreon link in the description down below. And yeah guys, my name is Max. Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.